In honor of all grandparents, we have some easy recipes grandkids can make for grandma and grandpa. Joining us now to show us what to make is Mama Cuisine, Joanna Mirapuri. Hi, Joanna. Hello, everybody. I'm oh. so good. How are you doing? Good, good. I'm so glad to be Absolutely. here. Absolutely. We're going to talk about bento boxes today. What, what's the deal with bento boxes? So I love bento boxes because they are compartmentalized lunch boxes. Mm -hmm. So you can make it really fun and, you know, put basically a full meal, you know, and, and it's, it's great for work. It's great for kids, especially we're talking about today uh, with your grandparents. It's a really great thing to put together with your grandparents. Love it. So what's the first one? You have a sandwich bento box. Tell me about that. Yeah, so I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to move this camera down. So these are bento boxes. So you'll see there's different compartments to it, which makes it really great when you're creating lunch boxes. So when we're talking about little kids, elementary school, this is a really fun thing to put together. Grandparents usually have so much more patience with their grandchildren, <laughs> so they could put this together, right? So we have the little mini salami sandwiches. You can make whatever you want. Aww. You can even use little cookie cutters, <laughs> right? And cut it out in, in fun, fun shapes, little shapes. Right. Exactly. I just cut it into triangles today. And of course, you always want it to be well balanced. So here we have some fruit and a little side salad. And what's really cool about bento boxes, guys, is because like this pops up. So there's another compartment. Oh, so here's wow. a little trick I wanted to show you guys because at school, with elementary school, they have opportunities to have snacks throughout the day. So in this bottom, what I used to do with my kids when they were in elementary school, I'll put a little bit of cereal in the bottom. And if you have a little thermos with milk, then they can open it up and they can have cereal I see, I see. at school and just pour it in. Excellent. Look at that. It's, it's really amazing way, how, yes. how versatile it is. And then I know you have a second one. Um, tell me quickly yes. about rice bowl bento. So rice bowls are awesome, right? This is really filling. It's really great. And for kids, you always want to introduce real meals, right? Not everything should be like chicken nuggets all the time. However, we did go to Popeye's yesterday, <laughs> right? And we had leftovers. Or if you have leftover rotisserie chicken, you just take a little bit of rice, put some leftover chicken or fish, yeah. a little bit of vegetables. Here I did some... Uh, some cherry tomatoes and a that, little that bit definitely, over a bed of rice. Definitely goes back to the well-balanced thing you're talking about. Now, I know we have a third. Yeah. We have a little less than a couple minutes left, and I'm going to okay, make it no with problem. you. So talk me through this. How do we make this? Yeah, so we're going to make breakfast bento. Breakfast so here bento. I have some mini waffles. All right, I got some mini waffles. Right, you toast mini waffles. You put that on here. They're so cute. And you can get really fun here. I have some little, uh, these weeny sausages that the kids love. Oh, look at that. Okay. Put it with some skewers with a little bit of fruit on that. You can make a couple of these and put it right here in the bento. Yes. So then you're creating something really fun. And this is all simple, right? Some of these are frozen foods. And you're just putting it all together so that the kids have really great meals at school. I think there's something to be said about, as you said, it's fun. Like, you know, making food fun to eat and maybe the kids can even help in the kitchen putting it together, right? Exactly. Get everyone together in the kitchen because there's nothing like families coming together with food. You know, it's just so important. And you're teaching them a lot about nutrition without them knowing it. Absolutely. I think I love that you make a point to say, you know, it has to be balanced. We can have our yeah. fun things like waffles and syrup, of course. But, you know, yeah. we need to have the vegetables and the fruit. So that's important. All right. What is your uh, favorite bento box? You know what? My kids really love the Asian style bento. Okay. So they love rice bowls. Very they love noodles. I mean, you'll be surprised. Like the little ramen packages, they love stir frying that and adding vegetables to it. Excellent. So you can they can actually bring real meals to school. I love that. You, that's so important. You can do anything. Joanna, thank you so much for joining us, for sharing these fun thank recipes. You. Where can we go to get more recipes? Yes, make sure you visit me on social media and online at mamacuisine.com. Excellent. Thank you for joining us. We're going to be sure to share this information on our website at dailyflashshow.com. Can I go to school now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>